Good morning, I'm Scott Willison, owner of the Confluence Fly Shop in Bellingham, Washington. And today I'll be tying one of my favorite patterns. This one's called the Woolly Whitefish. Uh, it was a pattern I originally designed to imitate a, a whitefish in the rivers for, for big bull trout. Uh, I've since found it works as a, a great all-purpose bait fish pattern. Uh, and I've caught rainbows and pass leg, and smallmouth and whatcom, um, even steelhead on this one. So it's a very versatile pattern and I'm going to share it with you today. So I've started out with a size 6 Gamagatsu S11S 4L2H hook in my vise. Um, this is a 4X long, 2X heavy hook, uh, my favorite hook for tying this pattern. So I'll go ahead and start my thread on the hook here. Okay. This is 140 denier black ultra thread. Next, I've got a zonker strip in charcoal gray, mouse gray. Um, I've prepared the strip by trimming down the end to a, a fine V. I, I find this helps, helps to really let it swim and gives life to the fly in the water. Um, I am going to carefully part the hair at the, the rear of the hook here. Sometimes a little bit of saliva helps to get that out of the way. And I'm going to secure this to the hook, usually with five or six tight wraps, and make sure that's set on the top of the hook. I'll then advance my thread forward. And just for a little added durab durability, Take some brush on Zapagap here and just cover up those thread wraps. A little goes a long way, but since this is, this is the business end of the hook there where you're hooking fish, it helps to keep that thread from coming unraveled after multiple fish. Now for my body, I'm going to tie in some uh, hairline silver diamond braid. And I like to tie that in just behind the eye of the hook. I find that gives me a nice smooth body. And then we will advance this forward. Tie that off right behind the eye here. Trim that off. And then I want to allow enough space here to form a nice neat little head and get this top rabbit strip tied off. So I don't want to trap too much of that hair in there so I'm going to kind of Part the hair back to the tie-in point. And I usually do two or three wraps. And then I'll cinch it down just to make sure that's, that's really bound down tightly. Now when I trim this rabbit, I'm going to tilt my scissors at an angle. That helps to give a nice neat little step for the thread as you're binding it down. Now I will invert the hook in the vise and I'm going to put a little throat of just white zonker strip. Sometimes I'll tie this with a red throat just to simulate gills but most of the time I use white. I will 
find that down. I want this going going back really about to the, the hook point. And I'll trim off the excess here. Next I'll take some hairline lateral scale. And I'm going to take two long pieces of this, one for each side. And tie it down in the middle. And then fold the other half back. I'll want this flash extending just about the length of the, tip, the top zonker strip. Then I'll repeat the process on the other side here. I'll trim that up. I usually will have one about half the length of the fly, and the other just about the length of the tail there. Next I've got some silver crystal flash. And I'm going to tie this in the same way I did the lateral scale, only I'm going to use two pieces per side. So we'll bind that down in the middle, fold the rest of it back. And then do the same thing on the other side of the hook. And when I trim that up, I do that quite a bit shorter. Kind of think of this as uh, imitating the gill plates on a fish. Real short, short and flashy. Take just a little bit of water here and kind of brush those materials back out of the way. Right, now that I've bound down uh, everything, I've formed a nice neat little head, I am going to whip finish. Lastly, I've got some 1 8 inch silver stick-on eyes, and I'm going to put one on each side of the fly. No great bait fish plat pattern is complete without eyes. Alright, and I've got those stuck on there. And then I'm going to finish the fly with some thin loon UV resin. I'm just going to work, work this around the eyes here. I usually start on top, kind of fill the gap in those, those eyes. 
and then rotate the vise to kind of keep that evening itself around the hook. If I spin the vise as I cure it, it tends to give me a nice even head. And then about 15 seconds with that. I'll then go over it with uh, the, the flow formula, Loon UV Cure. It's a little thinner, it just helps to even out any imperfections I may have in that head and gives it a nice hard glossy finish. And we'll cure that the same way. And there you have it, the completed Willie Whitefish. Ready to be fished in a river or stream near you? Thank you.